Hello, it's Tom again. <laughs> it is me, and I am here again with the Sugar Bridges Crossover Blend pedal and another mystery guest pedal, which I do not make. In this case, the Whirlwind Rochester Series Phaser pedal. This is the Phaser one. Gotta be. And uh, this is a very special pedal and unique a lot of types of pedals in that it actually doesn't really need a crossover blend. In fact, if you just use it by itself, it sounds pretty good on bass. Ooh, now oh, that was loud. Oh. You can... I think more P pickup. We And you turn it off and it's still... It's fine. It's perfect like this because um, these old vintage pedals just let, leave the clean signal alone and just add the phaser signal to it. And the more vintage they are, the worse they are at low frequency. So they don't mess up the low end when they add in the, the effect. And so they work just fine. Why would you use it with a crossover blend pedal? And, you know, to be honest... I would. However, so let's just uh, consider this situation. What if you want to use some delay? There's a delay pedal here and a phaser pedal here. Hmm, works better with power, I'll bet. I'll bet you've never heard that joke before. Yeah, there we go. You might want to mess around with delay, but you don't want it mudding up on the bottom end. Or whatever you want to do. I'm not much of a funk player, as you can probably tell. Woo! Trippy, trippy, trippy. Which I think is the whole idea. I do like the phase after the, after the delay. It just makes it kind of swirl around. And, uh... Of course, the uh, you can use a little compression after a setup like this, and it'll make the delay disappear while you're playing because it'll compress out. And then when you stop, it appears out of the compression. But I don't have a compressor here right now, and uh, that's about all there really is to say about echo and crossover blend. Um, <laughs> So I'm going to stop saying it. <laughs>